going on, everybody? Came out from the East Coast here. I'm here with my friends. Hello, friends. Yeah. yeah, every time I come to Chicago, I get the same thing. You're going to Chicago? Oh, yes. Isn't that dangerous out there? Aren't you afraid you're going to get shot? Listen, those same people that asked me that, I deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan for 12 years. Every time I told them I was going to go over, they say, I heard it was hot there, but that's a dry heat. <laughs> you guys got Subway now, so it's not really that big of a deal. So just you have fun out there. Have fun out there too. But Chicago, Chicago gets people sweat. But I love it here. Great friends, great people. Love Laugh Out Loud. I was here back in 2019. Then some things happened. And now I'm back here. Good to be back. Uh, during the pandemic, I picked up a few interesting hobbies. Uh, jumping rope and professional wrestling. Yeah, it's kind of a weird combo, like health and fitness and watching sweaty dudes punch each other. But uh, my favorite professional wrestler from AEW is Orange Cassidy. When I first heard that name, it sounded like a drink, like Orange Julius' his little brother or something like that. And it made me think, any type of food could be a cool wrestling name if you've got the right announcer behind it. Just imagine, you're in the audience, right? Bruce Buffer goes up on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, for this tag team matchup we have tonight, on my left in the red corner, weighing in at a combined total of 420 pounds, Surf and And they will be going against their challengers from parts unknown, the trio from hell, B.L.T. <laughs> Tell me right now that you would walk up to a man who is six foot eight, 300 pounds, and look him in the eye and tell him that his wrestling name was dumb, Mongolian Beef. <laughs> you would not. You would look him in the eye and say, Good luck on your championship match against Prime Rib. <laughs> I made me kind of hungry. Thinking of hunger, um, when I was out there in Afghanistan, a lot of guys get kind of antsy. You meet the weirdest people. One thing I noticed is uh, anytime I have a banana to eat, there's always that one dude that just slinks into the room and observes me <laughs> peeling the banana and tells me, hey, uh, hey Jarvis, um, just want to let you know, uh, you're not eating that the right way. Really? Yeah, um, you see, if you watch a nature documentary, the monkeys, they peel them from the bottom. They peel them from the bottom, not, not the top, the bottom. Okay, check this out. There is no wrong way to eat. You can use hands. You can use utensils, you can do whatever you want. As long as you peel that banana, it's fine. The second thing I want to point out is the optics are a little weird when an adult white man comes in the room, looks a black man in the face and says, excuse me, you should eat that banana more like a monkey. <laughs> HR loves me. <laughs> Trust me, HR loves me. But really, uh, it's really good to be back in Chicago. I'm here with my friends here. We were gonna go see the Batman movie prior to all this, but uh, that movie's like three hours long. So I would've actually missed this event, which some of you would probably be happy about that. But here I am anyway. And I gotta say, that's like, you gotta call off work for that. The last Marvel movie we see, you're gonna need a three day weekend for it. You know, you gotta call off work for that one. Anyway, it's great being here. Uh, have a great night. Avoid peace. <laughs>